3.2, solving simultaneous equations by substitution. We're going to example of y equals x minus 4 and 2x squared minus xy equals 8. If these were both lines on a graph, solving the simultaneous equations will give you the values of where they intersect, where the two equations are equal to one another using the same values of x and y. We're going to substitute in y, which is equal to x minus 4, into 2x squared minus xy equals 8. This will give us 2x squared minus x brackets x minus 4 equals 8. Expand the brackets, we have 2x squared minus x squared plus 4x equals 8, which gives us x squared plus 4x equals 8. And minusing 8 from both sides, I have x squared plus 4x minus 8 equals 0. I need to solve this equation. It cannot be factorised easily, so we're going to either solve it by completing the square or using the quadratic formula. I'm going to use completing the square. So, from the early video of completing the square, we can see that we need x plus 2 squared minus 4 to give us x squared plus 4x. Because we have the, here, we have 4x and we halve it, and that gives us the 2. When we expand this, we get an extra plus 4, so we need to take it back off again. So now, x plus 2 all squared minus 12 equals 0, because minus 4 minus 8 equals minus 12. Rearranging, x plus 2 squared equals 12. We take the square root of both sides, so x plus 2 equals the plus or minus square root of 12, remembering the plus or minus. Taking 2 from both sides, x equals minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 12. So now, x has two solutions. Either it equals minus 2 plus the square root of 12, or x equals minus 2 minus the square root of 12. I now need to find the corresponding values of y. I can use either of the two equations, but this one's more simple, so I'm going to use this one. I need to substitute in these values of x back into y equals x minus 4. So you can see I've put them both in here. I have these two solutions. So y equals minus 2 plus the square root of 12 minus 4, or y equals minus 2 minus the square root of 12 minus 4. So this will give me y equals minus 6 plus the square root of 12, or y equals minus 6 minus the square root of 12. This means I have two solutions. If I substitute x is minus 2 plus the square root of 12 into both equations, it will give me y equals minus 6 plus the square root of 12, or I have x equals minus 2 minus the square root of 12, and y equals minus 6 minus the square root of 12. 